Hello, as promised, here I am, 6.2.1. Today we are going to be working with two equations and then using those two equations to solve for the variables. When we have two equations, two or more, it's called a system of equations. We can solve this in multiple different ways. One of the ways is the equal values method. Okay, so we have two or more equations. How can we solve two or more equations? Well, one method that you'll see today is the equal values method. We could use substitution. We could use elimination, or you could graph the two equations or more and see where they intersect. So let's read this scenario. It is time to cool off on a hot summer day. Team Sunshine is filling their pool. Um, they're filling their pool at eight gallons per minute, and it already has 30 gallons in it. I could write this equation as y equals 8x plus 30, okay? Y would be then the total gallons, and x would be how many minutes it's taking, all right? Well, next door, Team Breeze's pool is already filled with 180 gallons of water, and they're emptying the pool at five gallons per minute. So the total gallons is going to decrease, so our slope is negative, by five gallons per minute, and they already have 180 gallons in the pool. Well, there's our system of equations. Let's use this first method, equal values method, to solve for x because we wanna know how long it takes until both pools have the same amount of water. And x in this equation, in these equations, represent minutes. So let's simply set these two equations equal to each other because it's in a nice form to do that because they're both in y equals form. Okay, once you do that, you know what to do from here. You simply have to solve for x. All right, so we get 13x plus 30 equals 180 after we add five to both sides. Now let's subtract 30 from both sides. We get 13x equals 150. Divide by 13, divide by 13. That does not go in evenly, but if we used a calculator, we get, would get that x equals 11.538 minutes. If we wanted to know how many gallons, so we could solve for y, we could plug in this x right here, the number we got, into this equation or into this equation in order to get how many gallons or is left in the pool at 11.538 minutes. Oh, a good old tortoise and hare example. They're having a race, okay? The tortoise moves at 50 feet per hour and the tortoise, the tortoise is slower, takes eight hours longer than the hare, okay? And then the hair moves at 250 feet per hour. All right. So A says, let T represent the time and hours it took the hair to complete. So T equals the time of the hair to complete the race. Well, it says write an expression, not an equation, representing uh, the time it took the tortoise to finish the race. Well, it took the tortoise eight hours longer, so we can say that the time of the tortoise is t plus eight. 
B, write two equations that represent the race. One for the hare, one for the tortoise. So let's do the hare first. Well, they're in a race and you know this distance equals rate times time formula. Okay, well, we don't know the distance. We do know that the rate of the hare is 250. And the time of the hair we just said was t, lowercase t. I'll just put lowercase t. Okay, well, what about the tortoise? Whoops, sorry. The tortoise, well, we're gonna use distance equals rate times time. We don't know the distance. The rate of the tortoise was only 50 feet per hour. The time of the tortoise, well, we said that the time of the tortoise was the hare's time plus eight. So let's put t plus eight. Now we have two equations with only two unknowns. And they're both in d equals format. So let's set them equal to each other. So let's do 250t equals 50 times t plus eight. Now we're solving for the time. So 250t equals 50t plus 400. Solving for t, I'll subtract 50t on both sides. We get 200t equals 400, divide by 200. The time of the race equals two. And that's not it, that's, that's the time of the tortoise. Nope, that's the time of the hare. So it wants distance. Well, you can either plug this T in to this T in order to solve for distance or this T to solve for distance. I'm gonna do this one. Distance equals 250 times time is two. We know that distance is equal to 500 feet. Okay. Now we are buying bags of candy. Okay, we're buying taffy bags and we're buying caramel bags. Okay, so it gives us all of this information up here. It says the number of bags of taffy was five more than the number of bags of caramel. Let's write an equation with that information. The bag of taffy, so taffy, was five more than the bags of caramel. Caramel plus five. Or you could say um, five plus caramel. And then it also gives us something about all of the ounces. The taffy bags weigh eight ounces each. The caramel bags weigh 16 ounces each. And they buy a total of 400. So we need to write another equation using T and C and then we're going to use a method to solve for how many bags of taffy did you buy? How many bags of caramel did you buy? So taffy is eight ounces. So I'm gonna do eight T plus the caramel bags weigh 16 ounces. So 16 C and together those equal 400. So T represents how many taffy bags you are going to buy. C represents how many caramel bags you're gonna buy. Well, this isn't set up as an equal values problem. It doesn't have T equals and T equals, but you could do that. Let's solve this equation for T. So I'll subtract 16C on both sides. So we get 18T equals 400 minus 16C. I want to solve for t. So if I solve for t, I get that t equals, um, what does that equal? t equals 50 minus 2c. Now we have our two equations and two unknowns, and they're set up to do the equal values method. 
So let's set them or set them equal to each other. So I'm going to say c plus 5 equals 50 minus 2c. I'm going to add 2c on both sides to get 3c plus 5 equals 50. Subtract 5. Did I do this right? Subtract 5. 3c equals 45. Divide by 3. C equals 15. Okay, well, how many bags of taffy then did we buy? Well, you can simply plug this C equals 15 into one of our equations. You can plug it in here, or you can plug it in up here. I'll do the top equation. So T equals C is 15 plus 5. So t equals 20. So we know that we will have uh, 15 bags of caramel. And 20 bags of taffy. Part D asks, how can you verify this? Well, we can use one of our equations, plug in and see if it really worked. Let's use this original equation. So we have 8t plus 16c equals 400. Let's see if I plug in 20 for t and plug in 15 for caramel, am I going to get 400? And you do. So we must have solved for these two variables correctly. We're going to skip 6-48, but I do want to look at 6-47. It says that these equations cannot be solved right now in y or in the equal values method. We have that the second equation is in y equals method, but this first equation is not. So you first want to, if you want to use this method, solve for y. So let me just rewrite the equation. x minus 2y equals 4. I'm going to subtract x from both sides to get negative 2y equals negative x plus 4. Divide by negative 2. When we do that, we get y equals... Negative divided by a negative is a positive, so we have a positive one-half x minus two. So I rewrote that equation. So the equations I am highlighting now are the two equations that will help us, or that we will be solving for the solution of. And now we put them both in y equals form. So let's set them equal to each other. So we have negative one-half x plus 4 equals 1 half x minus 2. I'm going to first add 1 half x to both sides. So I get 4 equals 1 half plus 1 half is just 1, 1 x minus 2. Then I'm going to add 2 to both sides. We get that 6 equals x, but that's not our exact solution because I need to solve for y as well. So let's plug in, we can either plug in 6 into this x or into this x, doesn't matter. I'm going to plug in right here, y equals 1 half times 6 minus 2. Well, 1 half of 6 is 3, 3 minus 2, well, y equals 1. So really, when we solve these problems, we really should be getting two different solutions for the two different variables. And that will come um, clearer when we graph these because this is where these two lines intersect. So our actual answer is 6, 1. I'm going to have you do the review and preview for homework and classwork. And then we will go over answers tomorrow. I can't wait to meet you. Bye.